On a brilliant autumn day in Crown Point, Indiana, the buzz is about Bulldogs, the undefeated high school football team. This is a big deal in town. This is what counts. Not Beltway bombshells. The last big scandal here, probably when John Dillinger escaped from the county jail in 1934. At Larry Hines's barber shop, the White Sox celebration took top billing over indictment announcements. I'm just a person that goes to work every day and have been for 45 years. And I don't think that's going to affect me too much. Crown Point has long been a Republican stronghold, so it's not surprising folks here backed George Bush in the last election. What is, though, are signs of discontent with the administration. And you can hear it from the local lunch crowd, from Democrat Kenny Thompson. you got to have a... Uh... Uh, a reason to go for war, not not the lies, you know. You got to have facts. To even longtime Republicans like Jim Wirtz. Well, I think if the investigation was to show that we were that we went to war over there under really false pretenses, yeah, then I think that maybe it could uh, it could uh, become more serious. Crown Point knows the cost of war. Hometown boy Nick Adolski was killed in Iraq in June. It has shaken the community, says Joey Strubig, a mother of three, but not her confidence in the White House. The president didn't get indicted, and the vice president did not get indicted. So I still have faith in them. Still, the main event here was on this playing field. It's a fake! Don't jump! And the talk was not of Scooter Libby, but of Donnie Kaiser, his three touchdowns and two field goals. Led the Bulldogs to another victory. Dawn Fortangelo, NBC News, Crown Point, Indiana.